In 2.3c, we are gonna talk about linear models. So we're gonna talk about some of those word problems that lend themselves toward a system of linear equations. So let's look at our first one here. It says the sum of two numbers is 50. The smaller number is 10 less than the larger. What are the numbers? So they're always going to give you two equations that will fit the situation. Okay, the first one is the sum. Now remember the sum means addition. So that's x plus y equals 50. Now you don't have to call them x and y. You can call them a and b. You can call them whatever you want. And then it says that the smaller number, we'll just call it x, is 10 less than the larger. So x is the larger minus 10. 10 less than means that if we take away 10, we would get the smaller number. Now, this lends itself towards substitution. Now, you don't have to do substitution. I just think substitution is a good way to go. So let's take this information here and substitute it in where we see the x. So this is our x. When we do that, we get the quantity of y minus 10 plus y equals 50, or 2y minus 10 equals 50. Now, that will allow us to solve for y. So let's do that. We're going to add 10 to both sides. We get 2y is equal to 60, divide by 2, and so y is 30. Now, remember, you're not done yet. You're only done after you have substituted back in. You need an ordered pair, both numbers. What are the numbers? So remember, x is y minus 10. So x would be 30 minus 10, or 20. So our numbers are 20 and 30. Now, it's always a good idea to just check the information in the problem. It is the sum of the two numbers 50? Yes, 20 plus 30 is 50. Is the smaller one 10 less than the larger one? Yes, 20 is 10 less than 30. So I always kind of go back and plug it back in. So there's one type of those problems. Now let's try another one. Okay. It says the Hernandez family and the Kelly family each used their sprinklers last summer. The output rate for the Hernandez family was 15 liters per hour. The water output rate for the Kelly family sprinkler was 40 liters per hour. The family used their sprinklers for a total of 55 hours, uh, resulting in a total output of 1,450 liters. How long was each sprinkler used? So let's call X the hours for the Hernandez family. And then why the hours that the Kelly family used each of their sprinklers, okay? So we know the total hours is 55, so x plus y equals 55. So there's usually one piece of information about their total, and then one piece of information about their, their cost or their output. So the output, remember, is 1450. We haven't used that yet. Well, if I run the uh, Hernandez's uh, sprinkler for x hours, and it's 40 liters per hour, that's 40x. The Kelly sprinkler is, uh, let's see, oh, I'm sorry, I got those switched, let's go back. The Hernandez family is 15. The Kelly family is 40. Okay, for a total of 1450. So this is the total hours, this is the total liters, and that's the difference between those two. And now we can just use what we know about systems of equation, whatever method you want. Um, let's rearrange this one and say that y equals 55 minus x, and let's substitute in uh, right here. And so uh, that is a good method to choose. So we get 15x plus 40 times the quantity that we are going to plug in, that 55 minus x equals 1450. Distribute in a 40 to both uh, things in your parentheses, so distribute. 40 times 55 is 2200. 40 times negative x is negative 40x. Now I'm running out of room a little bit, but um, 
Uh, let's simplify this as much as we can, and then I'll continue over there. If we combine 15x uh, with negative 40x, we get negative 25x. And then if we subtract uh, 2200 from both sides, we get negative 750. And so if we divide both sides by negative 25, we get 30 hours. Now one go away when it comes to uh, problems like this, if it's hours, if it's uh, how many uh, uh, hamburgers you sold, how many, you know, thing, uh, you should get a positive number. If you don't, you know, something's gone wrong. Okay. Now remember, we know that y is 55 minus x. So y is going to be 55 minus 30 or 25. And so what do we know? Well, the Hernandez sprinkler ran for uh, 30 hours, and the Kelly's sprinkler ran for 25 hours. Okay, so that is a total of 55 hours. You could multiply by each of their perspective um, rates, and then you should get 1450. <clears throat> So that is uh, a problem um, that you saw uh, substitution work pretty good. One last problem to go, and let's give it a shot. It says, one month Kevin rented five movies and three video games for a total of $36. The next month, he rented seven movies and nine videos for a total of $78. Find the rental cost for each. So our variables are going to be X could be the movies he rented. And Y uh, would be the video games. And then we know if that's their cost. So the price of a movie and a price of a video game, better description. Um, we know that 5x's plus 3y's total 36, and then 7x's plus 9y's equals 78. So those are our two equations. I think this is a good one to use substitution. Oh, a little elimination. Let's multiply this top one here by negative 3. So we get negative 15x minus 9y equals negative 108. And I'm going to just put the other equation underneath it, and then I'm going to combine. Negative 15x uh, plus 7x is negative 8x. My y's have been eliminated. Great. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. And then uh, 108 minus 70. Uh, negative 108 minus positive. Let's just say that again. A negative 108 plus 78 is negative 30. And if we divide by 8, we get that a cost of a movie is 375. Okay. Now that we've got that, we still need to know the cost of a video game. So um, let's substitute into this top one. doesn't matter. They're both equally kind of yucky. We're going to do 5 times 375 plus 3y equals 36. 5 times 375 uh, is 1875. Subtract 1875 from both sides. We get that 3y is 1725. And if we divide by 3, we get that the cost of a video game is 575. So that is another example of some word problems related to um, linear equations. Um, and then your word problem homework that matches it is right underneath here. There are six of them similar in type as to what we've seen 
uh, up here. So uh, go ahead and start that homework.